with Friday's edition of The Trade. Toyota is pulling back 5.4 million vehicles to check for faulty gas pedals. Nikkei News says that may rise to 7 million. And Mike is in Tokyo with uh, all the details. Mike, how much will all of this cost? Well, according to analyst Koji Endo, Toyota may end up paying $1.1 billion. He's going to be on Bloomberg later today to explain how he gets that number. Toyota suspended production and sales of eight models in North America, recalled cars in Europe. Now, U.S. supplier CTS, which made these pedals, says it's in full production of new pedal parts. Asia's just had its first recalls. Tianjin Toyota in China pulling back over 75,000 RAV4 SUVs. It wants to check the gas pedals on those. The South Korean transport ministry says that it is investigating Toyota vehicles for possible problems with the floor mats. No problems have been reported. Shares, though, falling for a sixth straight day. Toyota currently trading down at 1.1 percent. Has Linda, back over to you. All right, Mike, here to give us his take on Toyota's future is Bill Russo, a former U.S. auto executive and now president for Synergistics Limited in Beijing and senior advisor for Booz and Company. Uh, good morning to you, Bill. Uh, some people are saying Toyota's done good for. Morning. No one will buy its cars anymore, period. How fair is that assessment? Well, I, I think that's a bit of an overstatement. Uh, I think the, the true test of a company is how it deals with a crisis, and Toyota's... Uh, going to be tested here. No doubt there's short-term financial impact. Uh, there is going to be reputational damage. And one of the things particularly about Toyota is their reputation for quality. If over the last 50 years, half century, uh, this is a company that built its reputation around trust and reliability. And this is being challenged right now. So how they deal with this crisis, how they handle their customers is all critical to determining the long-term repercussions for, for Toyota. It's a massive, massive recall. Any indication at all countries will use the U.S. recall as a trade tool to keep out Japanese cars? Well, there's always the risk. Uh, it, clearly, if it's a recall, if it's safety related, uh, all countries will review and determine whether Toyota is doing what's right for that particular market. Uh, there's always a chance that uh, a review can become very, very stringent. Um, in China, that's a particularly uh, tr uh, troublesome issue. I'm sure Toyota's had some weak performance. Although they've grown this past year, they have lost market share. Uh, so they're eager to try to uh, stay competitive, and it's going to be very challenging as they uh, deal with this crisis to reestablish the trust with their consumers. Bill, um, these, uh, the problem is with a pedal made by a U.S. manufacturer, CTS, and uh, a Ford and Chrysler also buy CTS accelerator pedals. Any suggestions that this is going to spread, that it's not just Toyota, we're going to find problems with other automakers? Well, I think uh, th this is a Canadian-based supplier. They're, they're a North American supplier to Toyota globally. Uh, it certainly is going to be a cause for uh, a design review. Uh, obviously, uh, a pedal system is designed for the specific application. Uh, but once they determine the root cause, there has to be a review of all products that use a similar approach to design. Um, Ford has already, in their products uh, manufactured in China, uh, started to look at and have uh, uh, started to review this particular uh, brake pedal, which they do use in one of their applications here in China. Uh, so, yes, there, there's definitely the need to review uh, whatever applications there are for this particular uh, product and this particular design. How do you think Toyota should handle this? Because for years it's built up relationships with Japanese parts suppliers that it relies on, and it hasn't had these safety issues with Japanese suppliers. However, if it starts saying, well, we're not going to use parts made in North America or elsewhere, then, uh, you know, that's a political minefield. How does it balance that? Yeah, I think this is one of the true t challenges. If you look at what, what caused Toyota to be as successful as it has been over the past half century, uh, it's because they had this uh, Toyota way, this Toyota production system, uh, which safeguarded all, all aspects of quality. In the past 10 years, uh, Toyota has put uh, a very uh, specific target to become 15% of the global industry. Uh, and many say that because of that, they've had to make... Uh, they've had to make some changes to their operating model, uh, prioritizing cost in some cases over quality. And when you do that, you tend to stray away from the things that made you as successful as you have been. Uh, and I think that's a risk here. What, what's happening is as the industries become more global, companies reach out to suppliers on a more regional basis. 
and they see cost benefits from uh, their participation in certain markets. And in some cases, if you put the cost uh, imperative ahead of other priorities, including quality, you can run into these types of problems. Bill, despite the debacle, you don't see any other brand taking over Toyota in its role in the global auto industry. Why not? Why don't other car makers come close? Well, I think this is going to be uh, the next several uh, weeks and months will determine whether there are long-term repercussions. I think Toyota, because it has such a fiercely loyal base of customers, how Toyota handles those customers, how they restore the confidence in their brand will determine whether they come back quickly. But I don't think there's any doubt that this is a company that's very capable of coming back. Uh, they have a, a very solid reputation. Uh, this is going to get challenged, but I think uh, it's hard to imagine a company that has the same global reach, the same global structure, and the same ability uh, to execute that Toyota has proven itself mm -hmm. capable of over the years. And I think they will restore the confidence. It's just right. a matter of how they handle this crisis, how quickly they can do it. Bill Russo, thank you so much for your insights. We're off for a short break. Back in two. Stay with us on the trade. The bank for a changing world. Central banks are printing more and more money. If you do not trade Forex with interactive brokers, 